Good morning. I want to update you on the Volkswagen case. First, to put my comments in perspective, I've been fortunate to be lead counsel in the three largest automobile cases here in the United States, the GM case, the Toyota case, and the Hyundai emissions case. Now comes Volkswagen. I want to bring you up to speed on where we are. We've gotten over 3,000 people who have contacted the firm to register their outrage and support for this case, and that's an unprecedented response in the United States, and we encourage continuing dialogue from people who are interested in the case. But let me put this case in, ba in the background. VW burst on the scene with so-called clean diesel and heavily advertised these cars as clean diesel cars, as saving you money, as cars that protect the environment. And we found that people believe that message. So the message was, was well received. People bought these cars because they thought they were doing the right thing for the environment. And it turns out that's not the case. As we all know from the news, Volkswagen cheated the system. They rigged the test so it only worked when you were getting an emission test and it didn't work when you were actually on the road. So where does that leave consumers? We're going to get two forms of relief for consumers and I promise you we are going to get that relief. The first is most of you who bought these cars knew that you paid more for a clean diesel car than for a non-clean diesel car. And we know that the premium, so-called premium, is $1,000 to $7,000 depending on the model and trim package that you picked. And so we're going to try to get that money back for you. But the, the more intriguing issue that's yet to be decided is we believe that Volkswagen did this because when the emission system was turned on, the car's performance was sluggish. And if the fix results in the car's performance being sluggish, you wouldn't have bought this car. And if that's the case, we're going to try to get you a full refund of all your money back. 